Tangling, so you get to tangle your hair like a denim brush. I don't know if I'll be saying it right. Denim brush, denim brush, jeans, whatever. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. And if you guys are new here, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you can be notified with every video I post. Also, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Makaya Banks. It'll be in the description box below. And also, you guys, I'm going to add in the description box my hair page. I just started a hair page. Um, getting back into locks, doing locks for other people. Because I know, you know, I feel like I'm most known for my lock videos. So, just wanted to showcase that. I have been doing hair on other people before, but listen okay it's stressful doing other people's hair you know especially like people could treat your work like it's very stressful so um i feel like i what stopped me was opinions and stuff like that but also like sometimes it could be like tiring doing people's hair like no lie i ain't gonna lie to you but finally getting the courage to just do that do other people's hair and you know can't just give give myself all the love. I gotta give you guys a love tip. If you guys wanna follow my hair page, it's gonna be bank style. That's all. Just bank style. So that's it. Um, it'll be in the description box below so y'all can just see more work from me. And if you guys are in the Indianapolis area, then you guys can book me, period. But in today's video, we're gonna be doing this protective style I did on my hair. So basically it's like mini braids, but like kind of like a goddess style. So pretty much, um, I have like made my ends super curly with the braids. And then I also have like curly pieces around here. Um, it's My hair's pretty much tied up, but y'all gonna see in the video. Um, I have like curly pieces around um, just to give it some more like, give it, give it a better look to like mini braids pretty much. So really simple hairstyle for the summer. Very quick and easy protective style y'all can do. Y'all can wear it for weeks probably like a week or two and then you know take it down then i got another hairstyle but if you guys are interested in this video and want to know how i did this look make sure you guys keep on all right you guys so we're about to get started um about to take down my hair it is freshly washed and deep conditioned and leave-in conditioner uh the leave-in conditioner i used okay so the deep conditioner i pretty much used was the um thank god i'm natural Mm, is it green pea uh, not green pea sweet pea i don't know it's gonna be in the comments below i did post it on my um channel before so i know it's the thing i'm natural leave-in conditioner so um so i washed my hair and stuff yesterday but i did not feel like doing my hair uh today i mean yesterday so i just put it in braids while i was at work uh for work today so my hair is just super clean. It still smells good. I know I already showed you guys the leave-in, I mean the deep conditioner I use and the leave-in I used and stuff like that. So so y'all can see what how what products I use to pre-wash and pre-condition my hair with. So okay, so as y'all can see, I got the mirror right here because I'm I, I need to figure out I need to see the back of my hair, if you know what I mean. So I got my prop set up here and I have a mirror right here. So if you guys are doing this on your own, um, this is how I usually do my setups because I need to see the back of my hair. All right, you guys, so we're about to get started. So first things first, all you would need for this tutorial is you need a comb, a little thin comb. This one dirty as um, I'll get a thin comb, um, a little brush for detangling so you get to tangle your hair like a denim brush. I don't know if I'll be saying it right. Denim brush, denim brush, jeans, whatever. Um, then I'm going to have some 24-hour edge control. That's how it looks. And then also, I'm going to be going with this Mayel for the braiding. And then for majority of the braids for my roots, I'm going to uh, slide this slight shining jam in my hair. So it can just be like slicked down and stuff. You know, this is really mainly for like definition of like the curls I'm going to show you guys that's you know it's going to happen with my protective style and then like the ends and stuff and also I have these like blue rods if y'all can see it well I know y'all can but I have these blue rods that I'm going to like curl my ends with they're not like super curly or I might use flexi rods for like my curly pieces when I do my braids I'm pretty much going to be having this protective style in for about a couple days I like to separate my hair from the front to the back since my hair is already part in the middle, I'm going to break this part up 
because this is one section okay so i got that together little bun get it out the way and then this whole back section is one section so now i'm just gonna split my hair in the back and pretty much start on like mini braids so hopefully y'all can see this but if not i'm gonna still kind of show y'all but if y'all can see my back angle in the mirror like that's how you that's how i'm gonna do it so just if you need to see it then look so i'm gonna just part my hair across and i'm just gonna kind of go back to see if it's like you know y'all know how i feel about parts you know how to be the super straight at all since i'm like doing it myself so i don't really expect it to be straight so and y'all shouldn't either especially if y'all do it yourself but if y'all can get it straight y'all deserve it and uh grammy so i'm just gonna see I think I got it straight as I want it. All right, you guys, I'm back. My battery got died. So, so now I'm about to do like four parts on this row. So, I'm gonna get that started and I'm gonna separate it so I don't have like add any extra hairs from each part like to one um, section. You know what I mean? So here is my section. It's all evened out, if y'all can see. Those all evened out. So what I'm gonna do is take my dinner brush and comb it out so I won't have any tangles. And then I'm gonna take some of this Shine Jam. Then I'm gonna take this comb, kind of just smooth it all in. To pretty much start braiding from there. So and then while I'm braiding, I'm gonna add this in to smooth that out. And this makes your hair smell super good. So the first row or maybe couple, I'm not, I'm not gonna add the curlies like out, but it's definitely gonna be like mainly up here and on the sides. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that to make it like more like curly and like super curly so. So y'all see how the ends look. This is how it look, y'all can see. So the ends is kind of curling up a little bit, but I kind of wanted to like that curl to last so. Putting a rod at the end is gonna make it last longer. So I'm gonna take one of these blue rods. And mind you, I didn't finish braiding all the way. Like I kind of like stopped like right here because I knew it was gonna curl the ends. And then all I'm gonna do, it's roll them like spiral, spirally like that. And then put this on. So mind you, this don't really have to sit all night. I'm just kind of, I have like a bunch of these and until they run out, I'm gonna reuse, reuse, recycle. I think I said it right. <laughs> Renew, reuse, recycle. So I'm just gonna leave that on for now. But that's how the first braid look. So I'm about to finish the, the back and I'm gonna show you guys the back when I'm done uh, with the rod and everything. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to do the curly pieces, take them out and you know get that defined and i'm gonna show you guys how to do that so i'm about to finish this first row maybe the first couple rows and then i'm going to show you guys how to do the actual braid with the and then you take the curly pieces out so it can give that bohemian look but like on your natural hair like it's going to give it. it's going to give like for real so i'll be right back all right you guys so i've i definitely did just completed the back so i'm about to go show you guys the back of my hair and kind of just explain it I don't know if y'all can see it so this is the back of my hair um so what i did is put flex not flexi rods little rods at the end of the hair and then as y'all can see i like took some curly pieces out um some of them don't have rods on them some of them do as y'all can tell like this one has rods on them because i wanted to give definition and i know they're gonna last longer if you put rods on them so i'm just trying to find some more rods though that's really why they're not rotted up but as y'all can see like 
it's, it's gonna give. I can't wait to take the rods down so like y'all can really get the effect. But that's how it is. Y'all know my parts ain't that crispy, so. So now we're about to do the front of my hair and so I can show y'all better. Ugh, it's so hard to part on my left side. Like it feels so weird. I'm so hungry, y'all, no lie. <laughs> so I'm gonna start by splitting this in half. Okay, so now I'm taking the edge with a sign gem, smoothing it into my roots. And now I'm gonna take the Mayel, squeeze it in my hands, and then get out all that. I feel like if you do like a mousse or something, when you start braiding it, it won't have a the it won't have a a good hold. Like I feel like mousse don't really have the best hold, even though it's for it says withhold it really don't have like a good hole so it makes some of the braids look more more thicker than others kind of like more organic more natural looking you know instead of just me braiding super tight and everything's all skinny like it's just giving it some dimension some, some, some edge some something going with it so so that's why i use the mousse so it just won't have it don't have too much of a hold. I have more hold at the roots because I use that jam, but like towards the bottom, it ain't really gonna be like having the best hold on the braids, which I kind of want. So the roots is kind of like giving me that extended, like since it's kind of like, since the jam kind of like strains out the hair, it's kind of giving me that extension, but like towards the end, since it's like more loose and frizzy looking and the mousse don't define it, it gives me more less of a definition on the braid so it just makes it look more natural even though it's natural like my natural hair either way but it that's what makes it goddess braids like it ain't super perfect and you know how i feel about that none has to be too perfect okay, so this is the braid and i'm going to show you guys how to do the braid but like take the hair out so you can have like your own curly pieces so, so I am gonna do this 24-hour edge tamer for like my perimeter for the edges, so it can look sleek, like duh. So I'm gonna just put that on my edges, and then then go with the jam, and then I'm gonna go on with this comb, kind of like comb it all in with the jam and everything, and then I'm just gonna braid. Uh, this hair on my sometimes you get a little hair on your hands stuff you like blowing it anyways so now i'm just braiding down i really okay this probably ain't a good piece because it is like thinner so i'm going to show you a different piece so maybe if you want to feel which which three strands is the thicker piece um you could do that but it really don't matter so but that's how i usually go by um I'm ready to take out some hair. I'm gonna find out which three pieces is the thicker piece. So it's this one. So I'm just gonna take that out. I just took a piece out of the three strands, of one of the three strands. And then I still got the three strands in my hand. And I'm just gonna, and this is the, y'all can see, this is the piece I'm leaving out. So I still got the three strands in my hand. And I'm just gonna braid it down. Then I'll put like a roller on. I'm gonna take the ones from back here. Put one on here. Cause they should be set by now. They don't really have to be like super set, but I just put rollers on it. And then, so I'm gonna take this piece. I'm gonna put a little bit of the Mayo foam on there. And then I'm just literally gonna roll it up. And this is gonna help set the curl better so it can last longer. Y'all can see like it's gonna come together. But yeah, I'm gonna continue all around my head and then I'm gonna show you guys what it look like. And then once I get dolled up or something cute or something tomorrow, hopefully we can show the final results when I take every, everything down and 
give you guys the final results. If you already have questions already for me, drop them down in the comments. I'm going to answer every question I ask, so just let me know. Sorry, I'm just ready to turn on some TV. Listen. Hey. Slide, trying to provide for me. That's the hideaway. I need some head and some more support from you right away. Since I've been making donations to you like United Way. What? Stories you told me about him, I can see that it's night and day. Told you. Walking from here to my bedroom, I feel like it's run away. And I'm still on my body. I don't feel nobody. And I'm feeling somebody on my friendship. Solid, I get eight up, I just on my whip, say, Zoddy. I gotta finish it, I wanna paint this huh? She wanna paint this huh? She wanna ring us some sort of arrangement. Huh? Some of this dangerous. I wanna change it, I wanna claim it. Huh? I wanna paint it. Huh? She quick to say no, cause she knows she a diamond. Huh? She getting quiet. Huh? She on the die, she wanna. All right, you guys, so this is how it looks all done. Um, I'm, I actually just found some more rods. I just actually found some more rods. So I'm about to show you guys like the ones I'm going to put some on. Like I know they're not going to last just by itself. So I'm going to put some rods on the ones that's sticking out. All right, you guys, so this is it. So this is how it look. You can see, I got a piece so bad, sorry. So I think they're gonna come out so cute. This is my first time really doing these, so they're gonna come out so cute. Um, I'll be all like dolled up so y'all can see, like y'all can wear this out, like, you know, get cute, you know, and yes, summer, summer protective style. So I'm gonna show y'all like when I all get glammed up with lashes and like, Maybe a cute outfit, jeweled up, you know? So, yeah. I'll be back once it's all out. All right, you guys, it's the next couple days. <laughs> um, so, here is the final look of my hair. Um, so, I had took it down for work, and I forgot. I didn't really record it because what I look like recording at 3 in the morning. Sorry. So, I took them down pretty much, and this is how I've been wearing it. Let me show y'all. So been in a little bun a little something like this pin up out of my face but yeah this style is super cute something low maintenance that you can do for y'all protective styles um but yeah let me show y'all like the details of it so y'all can see like my curls are my ends are curly and i have a few curls around here somewhere i'm gonna take this down for y'all so this is how it looks down and as y'all can see i have some curlies Y'all can see I have some just curlies out, just hanging around. Just give it, just give it something, you know? Instead of just giving just, just pl plain braids, it would be like a little bit more, you know, more stylish or something. So, but that's how it look. This is how the back look. Not really sure how it's given in the back, but y'all know how I am. But all right, you guys, this is, that's it for this video. Showing you guys how to do this simple, cute, protective style y'all can wear for a couple days or whatever. And then how y'all can like dress it up. So I just got me like a little dress and little earrings or something like that. So, you know, I'm ready for the date, period. But yeah, but that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys don't follow me on Instagram and TikTok, make sure you guys go do that. It will be in the description box below. Just Makaya Banks. So yeah, make sure you guys go follow me, please. We're on the road to 5K. So you already know the vibes, okay? But yeah, y'all, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.